guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are drawing a modern sink. Here we have some subjects made of stone, metal and glass. I think it's pretty cool. I love drawing like textures. I just think it's really satisfying to create those. <laughs> so first of all I draw the lines and simple forms and then to the simple forms I add the details that are necessary for my objects. So you can see I try to make it perfect, but well, it didn't really turn out that perfect. Yeah, I add some details and now I add the towel. So always look the way uh, the towel lies on the subject. And now I create the wall. You can just copy paste the pattern actually, and it will work pretty well. Yeah, now I add some shadows. It's important to understand where the light comes from. In this case, the light comes from the left, but as you can see, the bowl has a shadow on its left side. So it's a bit tricky with the round objects and with objects made of metal, but it's really cool to draw those. So if you want me to create a tutorial where I draw glass metal or some other kind of structures and textures, just let me know. I would love to do that. To create the shadow, I just put the strokes on my sketch and then it's done. And now I start coloring my sketch. So first of all, I put the basic colors and then I give them some depth. So I, I add the shadows and highlights like here. I try to create metal texture. And I think it turned out pretty good. Now I add in even more highlights, even more highlights. <laughs> And it's almost done so it did work pretty fast <laughs> now I'm creating the glass so always remember the highlights they're never blurry so the highlights on glass are usually more or less sharp and the shadows by such objects like glass and metal and like, yeah stone sometimes the shadow is very often lighter and not darker than the object we are working on the wall right now. What I did, I created the shadow on the right side and the highlight on the left side. And I just add some random colors like dark blue and almost white. I just add them and yeah, that's what give it a natural look. And the last thing I usually do is put the white color above all the layers to create like this very beautiful highlights, but also we need it. So in the shadow, I don't do that, only to highlight. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if so, then give this video a thumb up and comment down below. So see you next time. Take care. Bye.